Hey guys, Roger here from the How To Headquarters. We're doing a serious chimney overhaul repair. There's two ways water got into this. One was the concrete cap had a crack in it, water got in and destroyed that whole upper region. We actually just rebuilt that. If you want to see how to make a concrete cap, uh, there's another video for that. We formed and poured a new concrete cap. The other way that water got in and destroyed was the shoulders on the fireplace. There we just put a new stone on there and we're going to put one on this side. The masons before us had just laid stone on that angle. It never works because the stones expand and contract differently from the mortar. And water works its way into those cracks and works its way in. And you can see on this that the water has just eaten away. If you think about it, as it breaks in there, and freezes and thaws, it's just breaking down the mortar and breaking that out. And both those wing walls were broken. So we've pulled those down and repointed them. It still looks ugly because we've reset the stones and once we've got the whole thing where we want it, we're gonna use quality mortar and repoint it all the way through. Now the fun part of all this is putting solid stone shoulders on. A lot of times you can use a bluestone slab in this one, we wanted to use a piece of granite to match the, the integrity of the old thing itself. And granite is actually a less porous and longer lasting stone. So we got these, these are actually, they call them skins. They're at the quarry, they cable cut the top off of a stone and uh, throw that aside. We took those skin, big, big piece of granite, cut them down to shape, I used a piece of blue styrofoam, two inch styrofoam, that piece right there, as a template of the uh, stone where it's going to be. I laid it in there. Now, even, we, we'd never trust mortar as a glue. Mortar is not glue. So I have no faith in taking a stone, putting it on a shoulder, and having the mortar stick it there. There is, there's a chance that might work. There's also a chance that over time, expansion, contraction, different, a little bit of water gets in there, slide, go bang. That's not good for business. So the way we back that up, and I'll, I'll get a quick video of up there, I've got screw holes coming out of the shoulder itself with the heads coming up. In those screws, I put GRK masonry uh, drill bit heads. Then I put the piece of styrofoam on there, which when I punched on it, it marked where the screw hole heads are. You can see them here. These are the screw hole heads. I transferred those and made these pockets. Mortar is going to go in here. When this is flopped on, it's going to, the screw heads are going to be in here embedded in the mortar. I also made these kind of one-way gouges here so that mortar is up in here and it's another way of binding and holding it together because we're not just hoping that the glue of itself is going to work. We also, this guy had pretty steep shoulders. We actually changed the shoulder angle a little bit so it was a little less harsh to hold these on. Now, the fun part's coming up. We have contraptualized this whole thing with pulleys and chutes and ladders so that we can lift this stone up and set it on there. So, check this out. So here we are up here. This was our stonework finished off. It was a rough, we left it rough so the mortar could bite. This is a high end, it's a Portland mortar, Kaufman's uh, acceleration uh, combination here for the mortar mud bed. That's a super sticky mortar. Right here are these three screw heads, GRK heads that are popping out. Those were drilled into the old solid mortar, so they are solid. Now, this piece represents a much lighter version of the bluestone or the granite that's going to go on here. We put this on. I did even on the uh, granite kind of cut a uh, angle in the back here because we need we do not want this water shearing down and be dependent on a mortar joint here we need to be tucked underneath so it's a perfect uh, drip over drip situation so what I did is I set that big piece of this broken half but a big piece of blue foam here set it on and I tapped it when I tapped it these screw heads transfer in the back and now I have this is a perfect template and I have these screw head templates. That's where we got those points in. Now, we're going to hoist this thing up 
and set her into its forever home. Okay. 